Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for my favorite brushes of 2021. I thought I'd do a dedicated brush video because I did mention some of them in a game changers video, but one of the reasons a brush is a favorite is because it's a game changer. So some of these are things that I have duplicates of, that's how much I love them, and I've recently discovered some new brushes. So I thought we would talk about them all together because I think these are things that make makeup application easier and with a better result. Starting with this one, I know so many of you have this one already. It's the Shiseido brush. I have two of these, one for foundation and one for refining powder, which is kind of its original intent was to polish the skin once you have powder on. Even though I apply foundation every time I use it with this brush, I forget to use this as a polishing kind of tool. Although it's nice to have two because this does take a little while to dry, which some of you have noticed. So it's nice to have one sitting as a backup. And if you get it on sale, you get a nice discount. Um, so I always look for sales and post them on the community tab if I find one. But the way I clean this, because there have been questions, I use the solid soap from Beauty Blender and I um, put that in there and I have a little cleansing mat. Um, I'll see if I can list something below, but it's got like a little texture on it and then you brush it against the texture and it helps remove some of the foundation that's in there. But the great thing about this is it doesn't absorb a lot of foundation. So there isn't that much to clean if you clean it frequently, if you clean it frequently. Otherwise it does take a couple of days to dry. So I'll dry it like this for uh, about a day just to make sure the water's all out and then I will let it dry on its side. Um, but it cleans very nicely. My second game changing brush is, I'm looking for it because I just used it. I clean them and then I just use them, is the Clay de Peau Concealer Brush. It's such a thin brush and it doesn't absorb product. So you use less product and it again, perfects it. There are no streaks or anything like that. You can be very precise with this. If it's in all the right places, like in this inner corner, right along the nose here, I didn't think it was going to make that big of a difference, but it does. And it allows me to mix concealers to blend custom colors if I want, um, and then apply, which is really nice. So I did purchase a second one of this because I love this one so much. Speaking of clay de peau, I also have the blush brush that they created. Um, these are the two clay de peau brushes that I have. And I also ordered ordered a second one of this because it allows me to apply one of my favorite kinds of products that I love but doesn't exactly love me, cream blush, because what can typically happen is cream or liquid blushes will lift off this concealer in the front and then just make a big problem for me because then you can see the darkness again, but I can stipple it on like this with this brush without removing or disturbing that makeup, even over powder. So this allows me to use one of my favorite products, um, which is cream and liquid blush. So I love this for that. I haven't used it really for powder blush, but someone asked me what's the difference between this brush and others. Yeah, it's not as tightly packed as some of the other brushes I've used and there's a flexibility to, flexibility to, flexibility to this, why well, I've been talking a lot today, but you can really feel that it's a very tapered at the end of each bristle. It's very soft. So I think that has something to do with it as well. It feels different on the ends of the bristles than it does uh, compared to other brushes that I've used for cream blush. For eyes, these have been game changers. I've talked about them before, I'm trying to gather them up here. The Wayne Goss Eye Set, I love this one. It really helped change the game for me in terms of eyeshadow application. My eyes are smaller. These brushes are smaller too, so that's really key. I think my favorite one is brush number 19. Um, where is it? So if I travel, I'll just take this one. And this one is sold out a lot. It's hard to get a hold of. So I'll keep my eye out for when it's available. But this is a thinner tapered brush compared to the number 20. It's a little bit shorter. This is a 20, this is the 19. And what you can do is get in the crease here as well as build that corner. So when I travel, I just take this one. So this is the most vers versatile. I'm trying to talk because my battery is dying. Um, but this is the most versatile of them all, but I do use all of these brushes and I in fact need another set myself um, because I use them so much. For a pencil brush, I love this one by Sonia G. It gets in this inner corner really well as well as can smoke this out very nicely. So um, I love the precision of this one. I know there are lots of pencil brushes out there, but I particularly love that one. And then this is one of my most unique brushes. It's the Raymore 6.5. It's got this contour right here that you don't see when they advertise it. It looks like this, but when you turn it, it looks like this and it just fits right 
in here beautifully. It was created for more hooded eyes to help with that blending process there. So I'll just run it like this. It works a little bit like an eraser as well. I can soften the edges with this and I can also turn it upside down and it helps me blend this part of the crease really nicely without messing up the rest of my makeup because sometimes when I go in with a fluffy brush, it disturbs too much. Then we've got, of course, this buff and blur brush by Chantecai. I love this for stamping right here, my perfect blur powder. Yeah, I use this every day. I have two of these, so actually one of those things that I probably could actually use another one of. I also like this for applying their highlighter, the limited edition one. It's really pretty with this brush as well. One of my most used brushes because I use it every time with my powder. Another brush that I love that's a game changer is this La Mer brush. It's a big fluffy brush. It's their powder brush, but I use this for the Guerlain Meteorites and um, before this brush, I think that's one of the reasons that product didn't work for me, but it's loose enough in terms of the bristles without going on too heavy. So it disperses those meteorites really nicely, but also keeps them quite focused because it's tapered at the end. So I feel like that's maybe why I have more control of a lighter application with this brush. And also I go in with bronzer. If I want a light bronzing, I'll use this as well. Also, if I go in with something like the Rodeal Loose Powder, I will use this brush as well. So it's kind of a multi-purpose brush. This one by uh, Hourglass, this tapered end here is really nice for bronzer. So I'll go in with a cream bronzer like the Chanel Cream Bronzer, and I can carve this out really nicely and then I can turn this over and kind of buff everything out. This one's more of a dome shape. So when I talk about, the, I used to apply cream blush with this, but it does a better job with this clay de peau. So if you look at the difference between these brushes, these bristles don't bend as easily and they're a little bit more tightly packed than this one right here. And these feel softer on the end versus the ends on this. I mean, this is quite soft, but it's just there's extra softness about this clay de peau blush brush. And then I really like this. I think there are probably some other great ones out there, but this allows me to use eyeshadow like an eyeliner. So this is the Chantecai eyeliner in gold eyeliner, eyeliner brush, yeah. <laughs> so you can just dip that in a, an eyeshadow and just stamp it across and make a wing as well using this brush. So I really like this brush for that purpose. One brush I love for one and done eyes are very simple looks. This is another brush I'll take with me when I travel because it's so easy to use because you can just apply like this and really just pull the color out if it's a good eyeshadow. Uh, this is the Chantecai Shade and Sweep brush. So I can place color, pull it like this, and I can also use the end here because it's quite narrow and I can just apply the eyeshadow underneath. So I love that it's uh, kind of a multi-use in that you can apply color flat or you could be more targeted and apply it, especially under that lash line. Sometimes I like to bring that down under the eyeliner. That is it for my favorite brushes, my game-changing brushes things that make makeup look even better. I'd love to know what your favorite brushes are and why and what I should invest in because it is quite an investment with brushes. I think they're priced a little bit higher than your typical makeup item, but if they're used frequently and improve the results of makeup, I think they're worth it. So I'd love to know what your investments are with your game-changing brushes so that I can pick them up in the new year. But that is it for today's video, so please take care of each other. Stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.